up guys today we're chilling here in my kitchen and we're gonna be doing a Daniel Schiffer style b-roll sequence of my sisters coming soon to making a smoothie sorry if the audio quality is crap because my fridge is running in the background but anyway today I'm gonna be showing you guys the process of how we make this b-roll sequence okay so we got everything planned now on the shot list right here and so first we have the camera sitting right here in the cabinet. It's actually my brother's camera, so shout out to him. We got Penny right here, and she's gonna open the cabinet, take out the blender, put it over here, and then close the cabinet. Okay, so, so you're gonna walk up to the cabinets. You're gonna walk up, open them, pick up the blender, Bring it over here, walk back, and then close the cabinets. Okay. Okay, okay pick up the blender. Okay. Walk there. Put it there. Close the cabinets to a black screen. So this is going to come from a black screen, and Penny's going to open the freezer, pull out the fruit, and then we're going to do walk this way and do a little side transition. Okay, go. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, so you're going to walk this way and I'm going to be behind you the whole time. And then you're going to walk that, okay? Okay, ready? Go. Okay, so for this next shot, we're going to have Penny She's gonna throw the bags across the table. Not that hard, but just like that. Okay? Okay, so our image was a little dark, so we got the good old Aperture AL-9. Put this guy right there. Okay, ready? Zero. Okay, so for this one, we're going to have Penny unzipping the bag, and I'm going to move the camera back as she does it. Okay, so you're going to take this off. Wait, I'm going to do, I'm going to move this back. You're going to take the blender cap off, put it down, okay? Okay. Boom, take it off. Like, yeah, just tip the whole bag upside down and shake. There you go. That was so good. Oh shoot, one of them. That was good, that was good. Okay, now do it like from high though, so that I can get a cool shot. Wait, just tell me when to stop. Okay, pour. Oh, I went out of focus. Okay. Okay, now pour the honey in. It'll keep. Oh, I'm gonna stop. Okay, that's good. Just do this. Okay, ready?
Alright guys, so those were all the shots behind this little sequence. Now quick disclaimer, this video is heavily inspired by Daniel Schiffer and I am no professional. So if you want to really see some professional videos of this style, definitely check out Daniel Schiffer because he really knows what he's doing. Anyway, if you guys want to make a sequence like this, here's a few tips that really bring it to the next level. Now the first tip is to use sound effects. If you heard my video, I included a lot of sound effects, from the bags ruffling to the opening and closing of the cabinet and to the sounds of the blender, and a lot more. These sounds really help bring the video to the next level because it makes the viewer really sort of not only see but subconsciously hear what's going on. It's these little things that you might not notice when watching a movie or a video but it really just adds to the effect that what's in the video or moving is really happening instead of it just sort of feeling a little odd and empty and not totally real. Right now I'm going to roll the video without the music to show you guys all the sound effects I used in it. And also, I recorded some of the sound effects, but a lot of them I use from Epidemic Sound. Now, I'm not sponsored by Epidemic Sound, but they do have a pretty good sound effects library. But Epidemic Sound, if you want to sponsor me, I got you. Now, the next tip that will really help you with these videos is to use J cuts and L cuts. If you don't know what that is, a L cut, yeah, it's kind of... You have to think an L cut is when the sound from the previous clip continues into the next clip. And a J cut is when the sound and a J cut is when the sound from the next clip starts in the previous clip. This sort of works as a transition and makes these cuts much less abrupt. Now this next tip seriously helped me and it will probably help you a lot too. And that is to plan what you're going to shoot before you actually go shoot it. What I did is I wrote it all down in my notebook. This seriously helps you know what you're doing instead of thinking about it and getting all confused and not really knowing what to do when you're actually shooting it. Having a plan beforehand makes it so much easier. So that was a fun little sequence to make and I would love to see all of your sequences. So if you make one, you should send it to this Instagram because I would love to see it. So I challenge you to go out and make something. Maybe a little sequence like what I just showed you. It's a lot of fun and you really learn a lot from it. And who knows, maybe if you DM it to me, I'll do a little giveaway type of thing. Who knows? You gotta DM it to me to find out. So that was the video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you like the video, give that like button a gentle tap. You know, no need to smash it. Just give it a gentle tap. And if you didn't like the video, remember, feel free to leave a fat, 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 fat dislike. Okay guys, but if you leave that dislike, make sure you comment why. You know what? I would love if you guys commented some criticisms, what you thought about that B-roll sequence, because I would love to know. Also, what do you guys think about the mic right here? Does it look bad? Because I think it really improves the audio quality. Oh, and one more thing. Now, I really hate to be this guy, but I recently found out that over 90% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you enjoy my videos and you want to see more, I would seriously appreciate if you just hit that subscribe button. Anyway, that's it. See you.